Outside the Beijing courthouse, dozens of police from dawn was an indication of the day to come. This was billed as a public trial. In fact, it was anything but. And at the subway next door, supporters of the lawyer on trial were picked up as they arrived. Those of us reporting on the case pushed away. Inside the court, away from everyone, lawyer and academic Xu Ju Yong stood trial. This is the last anyone saw of him, a video smuggled out of his cell last August. The country needs brave citizens to stand up to the government, he said. And that, in essence, is his crime, leading a movement calling for freedom of expression and an end to corruption. Some of his followers did get past the police for long enough to speak. It was not Xu Zhiyong who disturbed public order. It was the corrupt officials and this rotten regime. Even if they want to arrest me, I wanted to come. Why? Because he is on the side of justice, and justice triumphs over evil. Within minutes, they were rounded up. Watching were diplomats from Britain, the EU and America, such as the concern over justice in China. It's about freedom of expression and the EU uh, promotes freedom of expression in all countries of the world. And for that reason, we would like to understand what's happening uh, with these trials and we, we wanted to, to observe them. But they were prevented from observing, and even the American embassy's first secretary, a senior diplomat, was pushed away. Well, I suppose I just give you a sense of what it's about. You've got here a plain closed official. Uh, this has been going on all morning. Xi Jiang was trying to expose corruption in China, and as he did, he was arrested. He's on trial in this courthouse now. This is the sort of thing we have to deal with on a daily basis when we try to report what the Chinese government doesn't appear to want us to report. But as journalists are silenced and the outspoken detained, the Chinese government insists that it supports freedoms and is clamping down on corruption. Mark Stone, Sky News in Beijing.